So first off, last year you averaged 12.4 points. You had an amazing year. What do you want to do this year? Like, what's next for you? Um, I hope to improve on every aspect of my game, especially the defensive end and the quickness. This summer I spent a lot of time improving the quickness of my game and getting my body right, uh, fueling my body with um, good foods and not uh, drinking the pops and going out to eat fast foods and all that, which I think has helped with my quickness and um, helps with every aspect of the game, especially defense, which is what I'm really hoping to improve the most because um, I think that's what lacked the most last year for sure. And then with that, hopefully I improve in every aspect. I want to make sure set goals to um, improve on the shooting percentage, uh, defense, everything, every aspect of the game I really just hope to improve on. What's the uh, biggest difference going into this year as opposed to last year for you? Um, this year I know what to expect. It's a, um, I know the how long it is, I know the grind it takes to get through the season in that month of February, how hard it is to get through. Um, I think it helps knowing and having that experience because you don't necessarily have to gauge yourself um, preparing for what's to come. You can just give it all you got because you know how much of the season left, how much of the season takes out of you. Um, and the experience just playing against a certain caliber, certain caliber players, I think it will help a lot too because I know what to expect and how much I have to improve to be able to be the best I can. You mentioned February and it's like a tough area. What is it? What's the toughest part of the season, like during the grind? Like, is it the conditioning or the, you know the weight training or just going to class? What is it? I would definitely say the practices um, and the basketball in general on your body. I remember one practice last year, I just could not run anymore. <laughs> I looked at our conditioning and strength coach, and I was like, "Red, I don't know what to do. I my body, it's I, I can't run. It's physically impossible." But um, he just talked to me a little bit more about uh, eating right and make sure I'm eating a lot and I have a lot of times throughout the day to keep my energy levels up. And after he talked to me about it, I thought it helped a lot and um, got through the month of February for sure. And uh, yeah, that really you just have to make sure you keep your ener keep your body energized. I've seen uh, preseason rankings as teams as high as five. So how do you deal with those expectations? Um, I think you can't really play much into that. Uh, you ha really have to focus on yourself as a yourself as a player and your team as a whole, uh, and being the best team you can be. Uh, sure, it's great to have that preseason high rankings, and it makes us feel good about ourselves. But really, it doesn't do much for us. It doesn't help us win games. It, if anything, it puts a target on our back, and I think we have to be able to play with that target on our backs and realize that teams are going to be coming out for us and we need to be able to bring our best A game every single game and not take any days off. you like that target on your back? The uh, you know team's gunning for you every time? I don't mind it just because um, I think I'd rather be targeted than to be trying to target the top teams for sure. Um, I'd definitely rather be one of the top teams and keep improving on the team as a whole, but we just have to make sure we stay humble as a team and focus on what our goals are as a team. What are your team goals and what are your personal goals this year? I'd definitely say well, one of our team goals would be to win the Big Ten again and make it past that second round in the NCAA tournament. Uh, we've been stuck on that for a few years now. Um, so I would say those are our team goals. Individually, I just hope I can improve in every aspect of the game, uh, defensively for sure, and uh, help my team, help lead the team. I got to be the point guard this year, one of them at least. And uh, just really, it, I'm excited to be able to uh, give a team a different angle from the point guard position that we've had in the past. I think, you, I think your coach did a good job uh, playing Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I think she did a great job. Uh, she, we were all excited about it. I know she was a little nervous, but uh, it was fun, and I think a lot of the fans liked it. Did uh, any of your teammates or you teach her any moves or anything? <laughs> uh, I would contribute that to the dance team and the dance coach. Uh, they actually taught us the moves. Uh, we spent a few days practicing with them, and uh, it definitely took some practice. And we're still not even half as good as them, so we got to be able to give them some credit during our games. Okay, well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.